Are you new to Brisbane? Don't know where to start? Come along, we're going to show you some tips. The plant this week is the blue ginger. It's from Brazil. Glorious green foliage, nice stems, but most importantly, this stunning flower. Blue with a center of yellow. Highly attractive to the blue banded bee. It's from a group related to Wandering Jew. And like Heliconias and Costas, the blue ginger loves dappled light. It's ideal for our climate. In dry periods, it can die down. In cold periods, it can also die down. But generally, it's evergreen here in the subtropics. It's one of the great reliable plants that we can source. It's easy to grow, well organic, composted soils, fertilize it once or twice through a year. If it's too high, prune it down, easily obtained from any garden center. The blue ginger is definitely one plant worth looking for in your garden. Walking your neighborhood is a great way of learning a little bit about plants to grow. And here's a great example of a front yard. And here, the Alamander cherry pie, excellent plant for the subtropics. Rosemary, it's a great plant in an area that's neglected towards the front of the yard where you tend not to go up very often. Quite often in these areas, it's fairly dry. You don't want to water it very often and you've got to find a plant that's tough and resilient. Here's a really good one. It's called the seaside daisy. Petite little white flowers, but many also have a pink blush to them. It's one of those simple to grow plants that doesn't need much care. It's one of these plants if you're after a cottagey garden effect or you're just after something that's a delicate that spills over a tumble rock wall, this is what you're after. It's basically indestructible, doesn't have any pests or diseases and it's one of those favourite plants for most gardeners. You can usually find it in any garden centre or garden club. Now what you do with it, it's basically mass planted but it's very easy to propagate and we're going to show you how that's done now. Okay, here's the seaside daisy spilling down between some rocks and this is where we look for the potential to propagate the plant. The first thing is lift up some of the leaves and here you go. Right here we see a shoot, it's attached itself to the ground and this is where we propagate it. This is it's a type of division and all we do is clip it off, pull it up and look at those wonderful roots. All you need to do is now add that to a potting mix and it will be rooted within about 5 to 14 days. Scented plants in the garden are a great benefit to us gardeners. They can give you more than just fragrance. They can give you the benefits of a medicinal pantry in your own backyard. This particular beauty is lemon verbena. It's a great tonic plant if you've got a sore throat. It's basically a plant from a drier climate, so it needs excellent drainage, full sun to dappled light, but that drainage is the critical thing. It doesn't like wet feet. It does need a bit of a pruning because it does get rangy and that's easily taken care of once or twice a year. What you do with it, just pluck a few of these rough leaves off or even just the tip. Add this to a cup of hot water and drink it. You can if you want, add a teaspoon of honey. It's a great medicine at home. But the good thing here with gardening in the subtropics is there is so much variety we can use at home for medicinal properties. So go out, buy some plants, buy some herbs and enjoy them.